Bill Maher discussed the Israel-Palestine conflict again on his show this week, and I think his comments were even more beyond the pale than the last time. So let's listen to him and Aaron Ross Sorkin and Reza Aslan duke it out. I know Israel's horrible, but where are the protests about crucifying people? Where Boko Haram has killed more people than Israel this year with the war going on. But not with American weapons. And I think that's why you're seeing a great, a, a lot more emphasis in well, the United you're States. You're going to defend Hamas West. today. I'm not defending that's Hamas. All I'm saying is that if you're going to have a situation where 1,600 people, 85% of them civilians, hundreds of children are being killed every day with American because weapons that you Because they're putting them in for. front of them. That is, <laughs> that is nonsense. That is not nonsense. That's the these, absolute these truth. Are, you know, you can say this all day. These you are terrorists who have a two-front war going on against Israel and their own people. First of all, first of all, Amnesty International, which is on the ground, right there, did a month-long review of this. They have found no evidence whatsoever of any kind of human shields being used. They did say it's that Hamas leaders... And why are but weapons in the schools? But it's a time. war. It's a war that Hamas started. And somehow when Israel reacts to this, they have to do everything in a way that doesn't kill any civilians. People die in wars. Now, I've said this before on the show, if the situation was reversed, Hamas would kill every single person in Israel. The reason why that's not happening is because they can't. Because they can't doesn't make them good, it makes them weak. You know what, last time I checked, last, last time I checked, uh, we're better than Hamas is not Israel's national motto. Uh, this idea that somehow because Hamas is a terrorist organization and Israel is a democracy, there is no moral equivalence. You're absolutely right. There is no moral equivalence. It's the democracy that requires greater criticism. It's the democracy that has to live up to the values that it ascribes for itself. All right. Or I give a lot of credit to Reza Aslan there. He really, really did a good job fending off a group of fucking savages and idiots. Okay, on this issue, honestly, Bill Maher rents his brain out to Bill O'Reilly or Sean Hannity. Actually, you know what? I haven't heard Bill say anything, Bill O'Reilly, on the issue of uh, Israel-Palestine. So maybe he's actually more reasonable than Bill Maher on this issue. But Bill Maher becomes Sean Hannity on this issue. Mr. Progressive himself is defending the far-right-wing Likud party in Israel with their offensive that has killed over 80% civilians. I don't even know how that's possible. This is a guy who, who claims to care, and oftentimes he does care about facts and evidence and reason and logic, and on this issue he's just, NO! Anything Israel does is right and just, by definition, because we like them better than any kind of dirty Muslims. Now, look, to be fair, Mar said earlier on there that uh, he would cut the $3 billion worth of military support that the U.S. gives to Israel, and I totally agree with him on that. And he rightly says, look, they can take care of it themselves, they can take care of this stuff on their own. And again, he's right about that. But the problem is, it, we have really gotten to a position in the United States of America where people are arguing in favor of bombing two UN schools with no evidence Hamas was in the region and no evidence rockets were in those UN schools, right? Defending bombing UN schools, defending uh, bombing hospitals, hospitals, including the main hospital in Gaza, defending bombing the uh, only uh, power plant or electric plant in Gaza that was providing electricity to everybody in Gaza, now they're going to be without power for a, a year or more, defending bombing, up chi bombing children on a beach with no Hamas around and no fire coming in the direction of the Israelis, defending over 1,500 civilians being killed, over an 80% civilian death rate. How have we gotten to this point? How has humanity gotten to this point? Where that's like an open question. Like, well, maybe in every single one of those cases, actually, Israel was totally justified. And look, going to the human shields point, I've now uh, come to the understanding and the realization that anybody who uses that point uh, is, is, is being foolish. They're, they are purposely looking to not recognize the truth. They are purposely being evasive. They know that that is a flimsy, weak response that is not backed up by evidence, but they say it anyway because that's their only out, because they know that they're wrong. They know that they're wrong. Th stop and think about this. Over 1,500 civilians have been killed in Gaza. 
you're going to tell me that every single one of those civilians was because Hamas was using a literal human shield. Every single one of those deaths. I said this last week, even if I'm overly kind, and I say, you know what? Let's grant you that point. Let's say as more than is even conceivable. Let's say half of the deaths were because Hamas was literally using human shields. Well, guess what? You still killed over 700 civilians, and it's your fucking responsibility. Okay? That's defensible? There's, there's two sides to that argument? There's two sides to that discussion? No, there's not. No, there's not. And you sound like a child. You sound like a toddler working backwards from your conclusion when you repeat that, well, no, it's okay. It's okay. Hamas is always using human shields. Hamas is always to blame for everything ever, 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 ever. But they're not. We all know that they're bad and they shouldn't be sending rockets into Israel. There's no doubt. But Israel has Iron Dome. It shoots down 90% of the rockets. There's been a total of three civilian deaths in Israel this entire conflict. Over 1,500 in Gaza. This isn't a 50-50 fight. Okay, yeah, Hamas sucks. Guess what? That doesn't mean that Israel gets to bomb schools and hospitals and kill children and women. All right? I shouldn't even have to fucking say this in the year 2014. God damn it, this is so sad. When a guy like Bill Maher, who's supposed to stand up for reason and logic and empiricism, he's out there making the dumbest arguments I've ever heard made by the dumbest conservatives. People die in wars. You know, that's, that's his response. Um, you know, Israel's is supposed to avoid killing civilians, but people die in wars. That's right. Yeah, people die in wars. Now, I love when Bill makes the, well, imagine if the situation was reversed. Hamas would kill all Jews. Well, number one, again, you just made that up. Okay. And by the way, uh, yeah, there's, the, on their charter it says we would like to kill all the Jews because they're occupied and they're pissed off. And that's what people who are occupied, that's what they say. Israel isn't occupied. And we just went through an article earlier today where... In, Multiple Israeli politicians and multiple journalists called for genocide of the Palestinians. So that extremism is alive and well on both sides, Bill, but no, he only recognizes it on the Hamas side. And if you want to play that intellectual game of, well, let's, uh, well, what if the situation was re were reversed? I love to play that game. Let's play it right now. What if there were 1,500, over 1,500 Israeli civilians that were killed and Hamas or the Palestinians had an 80% or more civilian death rate for the people they killed on the Israeli side. What would Bill Maher say? It's so obvious that Hamas are brutal, vicious, bloodthirsty terrorists. Imagine Hamas bombed in Isra multiple Israeli schools, multiple Israeli hospitals, blew up kids on a beach, blew up, took away Israeli power by bombing power plants. How would the rest of the world react? Savages, barbarians, terrorists! But when the right-wing Likud party does it in Israel, oh, what do you mean? It's a legitimate war tactic. St shit happens in war, man. People die in wars. What? It just is what it is. What are you talking about? Anybody at this point who is still defending Israel, they are pathetic apologists. They need to look in the mirror because they like to pretend, oh, we are, uh, you know, anti-terrorism, anti-savages. We're just standing up for what's just and what's right. Well, really? Because you've become all the things that you supposedly hate. You're defending bombing schools and hospitals and killing innocent women and children. And, you know, you're out there making the argument that, well, Boko Haram is worse than Israel. Oh, yeah. What do you want? A fucking cookie for that? Is that what you want? You want a fucking medal because Israel's not as bad as Boko Haram? People who kidnap women and rape them? People who are fucking openly jihadist? You want a medal because Israel's not as bad as them? What a stupid argument, man. What a stupid argument that is. Bill Maher, you failed. Aaron Ross Sorkin, you failed. Reza Aslan, I'm sorry you had to go through that horrendous exper experience of listening to a bunch of clowns dis discuss an issue that they have no clue what the fuck they're talking about. Again, I, I love how on the issue of Israel-Palestine, the entire time during the conversation, Bill Maher and none of the other right-wing fools on the panel on this issue brought up the word occupation. Maybe if we discuss that aspect of the situation, maybe then people would understand why the Palestinians are pissed off and why Hamas exists in the first place. Maybe bringing up the issue of occupation would shed light that, oh, wait, maybe they're not just killing... Uh, simply because they are terrorists and savages and they hate all people who aren't exactly like them, maybe it has to do with, the, for the same reason that if China invaded Oklahoma and s set up shop on 75% of their land, maybe people in Oklahoma would say, yeah, give me my gun. We're going we're to go to work now. But I wonder if Bill Maher in that situation, I wonder who he, who he would side with in that situation. 
right? I have a feeling he would be more kind if it was people in Oklahoma fighting off the Chinese, right? As opposed to uh, the Palestinians trying to fight off the Israelis from what they view as their land because it was their land pre-1947. But I know it's wrong of me to bring that up, and it's wrong of me to bring up the fact that a 50-50 two-state solution is the solution, and that uh, the Israelis need to pull back and stop the occupation, right? But it's wrong of me to mention all that stuff, because obviously that makes me an anti-Semite, that makes me anti-Jewish, and that makes me an apologist for Hamas. Yes, uh, you guys nailed it. I'm the apologist for violence. When you just uh, literally said, in response to civilians and women and children dying, quote, people die in wars!